good morning you guys how are you guys doing so i was just sitting here and thinking always okay so um once again this is going to be probably a not so popular message uh but as i stated i'm not here for that um so i was listening to a song it was a gospel song that i was listening to in the words of the song, I was like, what? So these were the words. It says, less of me, more of you. Let me uh, say a disclaimer. I'm not saying, oh, you know, you don't need God and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, so don't think that. I don't agree with the part where it says, um, less of me, right? Because if you, if you look at any of these support groups like AA, any uh, addiction groups, what's the first thing? The first thing is accepting that you have that addiction and accepting that you have a problem, right? So if you say that you're living a sinful life, if you say you're living a sinful life, why would you want less of yourself? The first thing you should do is accept yourself. You need to acknowledge that, okay? Hey, how are you? I don't know who that was that just came on. So, if AA class, the first thing you have to do is accept yourself. Why would you want less of yourself? Think about it. Like, they have a lot. I don't have, I have notes, but I don't have a lot of notes. So, I'll probably be everywhere. So, they have a lot of people that have, um... That's addicted to alcohol. That's addicted to to uh, drugs. That's addicted to um, uh, that's addicted to sex and stuff like that, right? And these people, they they keep saying, you know, less of me, more of you. But you're not accepting yourself. You have to face that reality. The first step is acceptance. You're not accepting your own reality. So how you expect to get through something if you're not accepting it? That's basically denying it. And when you, what you resist will persist. So if you just resisting, oh, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Yes, you do. And if you don't accept it, it's going to keep coming back. It's going to keep going, coming back. It's just like you fell in a test. You're not accepting yourself. The first thing you have to do is accept yourself. You have to. Because if you don't accept yourself and accept your own crap, you go doing it now like i said I, I i don't have anything uh, uh against saying more of you less of me i have a problem with that part saying less of me no how you want how you want first of all how you want how they say you know it being accepted by god and stuff like that which i don't agree with that saying either That's another time but how you want to be accepted by god if you're not accepting yourself how you want to be accepted by anybody if you're not accepting yourself? That's the first step. It's the first, you have to accept yourself. You have to um, look yourself in the mirror. You have to realize what you're doing wrong. In order to fix it, you have to accept it. You can't say, oh, less of me. No. How you going to tell somebody less of their selves? That's denying a part of you. And you can't do that. Like, look, I know I have a problem, and I want to fix it. That's the first step. You can't, that's like sweeping it under the rug. You can't do that, because that doesn't just go sit there and settle. But until you lift that rug up and sweep it up, because you know they have dust under that rug, and you're accepting that dust, and sweep it up yourself, that's the only way you're going to get through it. You can't say less of me. No, I accept me for all of me. And by me accepting me for all of me, I can go into me and clean it up. So, I'm like I said, this is not going to be a popular message. I really don't care. It's 2020. Get over it. Get out your feelings. Like, you have to accept yourself. You have to. If you don't, you're going to be living a lie. Own your stuff. I was going to say a curse word, but own your stuff. Own it. It's you. 
And in order for you to change it, you have to own it. Okay? So, like I said, I don't have a lot of notes, but I have right like um like i said the first part like you have to acknowledge your reality you have to acknowledge it it's just like you somebody walking in your door well i work in, i always work in customer service it's like a customer walking in the door and you're acknowledging your customer and if you don't you know they're going to be angry it's just like just like a person that have a problem they're angry you're stressed out because you're not acknowledging you. You have to acknowledge yourself. You have to. I know I keep saying, but it's the truth. Cause like I just was sitting here, and that song just kept playing in my head. I said, "Wait, hold on." That's my song too, but that part of the song, I don't agree with it. Because don't tell me less of me. No, I love all of me. Cause if I don't, who else will? If I don't accept me, nobody else is going to accept me. And if I don't accept me, I can't it, I can't correct the problems that I have. So you have to accept yourself. You have to accept that you have this problem. You have to accept that you got a bad attitude. You have to accept that, you know, uh, you have addictions. If you don't, you're going to be it. Look, at, like they have people that that try to stop doing certain things, that, that try to stop their addictions. And you know why they keep falling? Because they haven't accepted it. They're trying to give it, like I said, God is here for us. And they try to give it all to God. But you have to, and, and I'm not saying don't, but you have to do your part by accepting it. You have to accept yourself. You have to. So the next part is identify the problem. You have to identify it. Because without identify it, identifying it and also by identifying it why are you doing this why you always turn to sex why you always turn to appeal why you always turn to the alcohol why you always turning to um that's you know why you always turn to those things identify it and you have to dig deep hey how are you look Quita Davis. <laughs> I don't know how to say your last, your first name. <laughs> so Davis, how are you? Um. So you have to identify it, and then once you deepen and understand why you're doing these things, then you can fix it, right? Um. Let me see. I said that. And practice honesty. You have to be real with yourself. Because if you're not real with yourself, um, it's not going to happen. It, it's not It's not going to last. It'll probably last for a couple of weeks. But if you're not real with yourself, it's just going to keep coming back. It's going to keep coming back. Um, <clears throat> I said that the next step was like admitting it. I said that in so many words. Um, and then the next thing, once you find out why you're doing these things, the next thing is, uh, hold on. What, what you want your outcome to be? So what do you want your outcome to be? So, you know, you say, um, you pills so you can feel good. But why don't you feel good? Why you feel bad in the first place? What is it? Like, what are you trying to cover up? Why you feel bad? Right? So, if you can figure out where you went wrong, you can understand why you, you know, you can understand how you can get your outcome. Okay, so I feel bad because, um, you know, I was, I was talked down to when I was a little girl, when I was a little boy. You know, and people' words have hurt me. I, I, that's why I feel bad. So I just won't make myself feel good, right? So if that's the reason why you feel bad, you have to learn how to, um, you have to learn how not to let people. Yes, words can hurt. I don't care what people say. Words can hurt. You have to learn how to not let people words affect you and you have to speak into yourself yeah they made you feel bad but how you make yourself feel because if you keep running back those people words that's going to keep making you feel bad but you have to learn how to speak to yourself you have to learn how to encourage yourself Some 
have to encourage yourself. You know that song. You have to, like, you literally have to encourage yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. You have to learn how to encourage yourself. So, like I said, yo, in order to get through something, you have to accept yourself fully. And like they say, you know, more of you and stuff like that. I don't have no problem with that. But God is already within us. God is already there. You just have to tap in to assess God. He's, I mean, God is already in us. Like I stated in one of my other videos, why would our spiritual parent put if we don't have the tools to live the life that we deserve? We don't have the tools to get through stuff. It's already in us. You just have to quiet your mind. You have to get away from all the noise and tap in. And I'm telling you, I always tell, I always suggest people speaking affirmations and meditate because meditate, I'm going to tell y'all what happened January 31st. I'm going to tell y'all and my mama told me this and I didn't know she was really, I mean, I know she paid attention to her kids, but I didn't know she knew, you know, about me meditating and stuff like that. I've said it, but I didn't know, but I was like, you know what, at this point. I know I, I I was preparing for it because at this point I would have been crying. She was like, no, baby, you you have grown spiritually by your meditating and saying your affirmations. So it really does help. Like you have to quiet your mind. You have to seclude yourself. You have to take time for yourself. You have to meditate. You have to speak to yourself. That's your affirmations. You have to listen to, you know, the music that make you feel good. I play this on my phone. I have a gospel playlist. I have my morning motivation. I say motivation. My morning uh, motivation, and I have a playlist with nothing but love songs because love is the highest vibration. So I have love songs on my playlist as well. So you have to pour into yourself. I don't know who else who came on, but how are you? You have to pour into your own self. Because if you don't, those those words that those people told you, they're going to stick into your mind. But because your subconscious, it remembers trauma and it also remembers um, consistency, like repetitiveness. So you have to continue to speak to yourself. Because if you don't, like I said, those words that those other people, those negative words that other people told you, your subconscious mind is going to start believing it. And if you start believing it, you're going to start living it out. So to bypass that, start speaking to yourself. Start, start, you know, making yourself feel good. Don't wait for somebody else. You have to make yourself feel good. Go take a, a spiritual, you know, go, go soak, you know, go get you some apps and so and stuff like that and just soak and listen to, you know, some, some good music and just lay back and close your eyes and just drift. Not, I ain't saying fall asleep, but I'm just saying just you know, just be, um, you know, just let your mind go, you know, and, and that's another way to relax and let go of the stress and stuff. So as I stated, if anytime I make a video and you find value, you can feel free to share or tag some people. So that was it, y'all. Deuces.